Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be covering building a high-speed home network to stream your media files around, secure your data, and control access to your data for everyone on the network. D-Link was kind enough to send us a DGL Gamer Lounge 4500 router, as well as a DNS 323 NAS. So we'll get into some more details about these products in just a minute. So now we're going to have a closer look at the DGL 4500 Gamer Lounge router. And what makes it Gamer Lounge? Well, for example, your mom is streaming Chinese soap operas over the network and you're trying to play a game of Left 4 Dead, your ping goes up by 50 milliseconds, bad experience all around. Basically, Game Fuel, the technology from D-Link, will prioritize your gaming packets over her, her streaming show packets to make sure that your ping doesn't go up dramatically. Also, it features high-speed gigabit connectivity to any wired devices in your house, as well as 2.4 gigahertz slash 5 gigahertz wireless end connectivity to any wireless end devices that you have. Very high transfer speeds for your network all around. The DNS-323 is already a very popular NAS unit and we're going to talk a little bit about what's packed into this small little box. You have a very quiet running dual bay NAS, so you can put two hard drives in with support for RAID 0, RAID 1, or JBOD. You've got automatic backup, which is OS independent, so you can run it on XP, Vista, doesn't matter. You can have FTP access to your files, so you can get to them from the internet. It is a media streaming device, so that means you can stream media to your Xbox or your PS3 or other like devices, and it also has BitTorrent support should you want to uh, download any content directly from BitTorrent to your NAS to share with your home network. So we're going to cover how to get your D-Link DNS-323 set up to start storing all your files. First of all, you'll need to pop up the cover, which is as simple as sliding it up and pulling it off. So you can see I've already got drives in here. So we're going to show removing the drives first. Counterintuitive, I know, but what are you going to do? So these levers in the back right here, all you do is pull on them and the drive pops out. So if I can just put this down on the table, it would make my life a little simpler. So you can see down into the unit, there's a SATA interface at the back. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. But it's as simple for installation. You just pop open the front, slide a drive in. Oh yeah, you have to have that lever at the back pushed back in before you can slide a drive in. And then you put the front bay cover on, slide it into place, and then you connect or plug, depending, your power in as well as your Ethernet connection. So. Here's what it'll look like at the back when you've got it all plugged in. And then you need to hit the power button and it'll glow blue just like that. All right, so off camera, we plugged our DGL 323 into our Gamer Lounge DGL 4500 router. And so now we've got full gigabit connectivity between our test, uh, Tech Tips PC and the DNS 323. So, First thing you want to do is use the D-Link Easy Search Utility 4400, which I downloaded off the D-Link website. You can see it's picked up our D-Link NAS right off the bat. I didn't even have to click refresh. So now all you want to do is set it up so that you can map it to a drive on your computer. So we'll select volume one and we're going to connect it to available drive letter Z. And then we'll demonstrate how, well actually we just demonstrated successfully mapped drive, how easy it is to set it up so that you can store all of your files on your NAS. There it is right there in my computer, Network Location Z, and it's as simple as dragging and dropping files onto there like you would any other drive. Now that's not the extent of the configuration you can do. As I mentioned, the DNS-323 has a lot of more advanced features. So cameraman, zoom away. Uh, so you can see the IP of my DNS-323 is 192.168.0.199. And so if I type that into my browser, then I will get a login screen. So I just type admin with no password, which is the default, and then click configure. And then we get into the more advanced admin control panel for the DNS-323. So that's where you can set up users, uh, user groups, quotas, network access, the FTP server, UPnP AV server, iTunes server, which I had actually totally forgotten about as well as all of the other advanced features. You can also update your firmware, which we did on this unit for support for the 1.5 terabyte drives. It was very painless. So there you go, the DNS-323, the DGL4500 Gamer Lounge router. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.